If I were to present you both of these parametric equations and ask you, determine the area of the polygon that is represented by these equations, how would you proceed? x is equal to 4 cosine theta, y is equal to 3 sine theta. These are parametric equations. You have three variables, x, y, and your third variable, your parameter, theta. How do you proceed? Solve in each instance for your trigonometric function. When I look here at the first equation, I'll push the 4 on the other side. I'll have x over 4 is equal to cosine theta. In the second, push the 3. I'll have a y over 3 is equal to sine theta. You know, for a bunch of different conic sections, the property holds true such that sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is always equal to 1. If I were to square these items, then I must square their substituents, which are the items being squared. I have here now x squared over 16. Here I'll have a y squared over 9. They must be equal to the sum of their substituents, which always by means of this identity equals 1. Now you're seeing clearly here an ellipse is involved. You have a larger value associated here with the a, the major axis. Here's your minor axis. This tells you you have an a value. Here, this is an a square, and this tells you you have a b square because you're looking here at the form x square over a square plus y square over b square a horizontally oriented ellipse with a center around the origin but now you know based on this a is equal to 4 based on this value b is equal to 3 because you had a 16 and a 9 and then you're looking at their roots the area of a ellipse is equal to pi a b 4 times 3 times pi 12 pi is your end result that represents the area of a polygon which happens to be a horizontally oriented ellipse centered around the origin represented by these two parametric equations. This answer here, 12 pi, is correct.